right here on 12 and getting meals to seniors and vaccines for NYCHA residents is part of the work Marina Orteza has done in the Housing Authority. She works to help underserved communities get the resources they need. News 12's Katie Vasquez introduces us to her and the work she does in her community. Ingersoll House's tenants have been getting shots in their arms, thanks in part to Marina Oteza. She works in NYCHA's Family Partnerships Department and led the Vaccine Command Center. We brought um, vaccine clinics to the residents because a lot of our developments, um, they can be kind of isolated and away from some of the uh, larger community um, clinics that were being stood up. The Chilean American believes representation matters. Her family fled the South American country during the 1970s, settling in Manhattan. She says her background helps her to serve the diverse NYCHA community. If I'm speaking to a Spanish uh, speaker or a native Spanish person, at least I lead with my name and once they hear Marina, then they, I, I can definitely see how they start to open up like a lot of weight is taken off of them and then they feel more comfortable speaking with me. The vaccination program was a major undertaking with a network of volunteers assisting. The Tenant Association president Ingersoll Houses says she's been an asset to the community. A lot of residents have questions, you know, they have fear. So to help them overcome that fear, I welcome it. With a sustainable model in place, she hopes it will provide more access for tenants to get vaccinated. In Fort Greene,